Hey, I'm Alex and welcome to the channel. Today I want to share with you how you can use your existing equipment to create a fairway finding monster. So if you're a golfer who slices this golf ball out of town, you may have tried every single technique under the sun, well, you should look at this. We're getting close to Christmas, aren't we? It's round the corner. So I thought it was about time that we did another giveaway. So I'm gonna give you a chance to win a Cobra Rad Speed Driver just like me. It couldn't be any simpler to enter this, right? Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below, pick me. Winners will be picked at random and can be anywhere in the world. You get your hands on a driver just like this on the run up to Christmas. Wow. Okay, let's get into the three customizations that you can do to your current driver that can help you create a fairway finding monster. So the first two things that I want you to do is, well, grab your adjustable tool. Let's make sure that your driver is lofted up. So my driver's currently set on 10 and a half, and if you've got yours a little bit lower and you're slicing the golf ball, that's doing you no favors at all. So let's get this driver lofted up to around 10, 10 and a half. In my opinion, if you're struggling with driver, more the merrier. Now there's also something else I want you to do. I want you to swap your driver shaft with your fairway wood shaft, okay? This is just one of the first customizations I want you to make. We're also gonna talk about how using lead tape can help move the center of gravity on this golf club to close this face and square it much easier. So, first things first. That was really not smooth, Alex. First things first, let's get this swapped over. What benefit does it have making this shaft shorter? Well, my driver length shaft is roughly around 45 and a half inches. This is like 41 and a half, 42 inches. So making it a little bit shorter actually makes what I think this club head so much easier to control. Think about it logically, right? Right, think this. How much easier is it to hit your seven iron straighter than it is your five and six iron? Okay, short shaft, easier to control. So the first two changes are adding some loft, okay, making sure we've got it 10, 10 and a half, and also popping that shorter shaft on there. Let's sit this one away, and we're gonna make our final change here as well. I mean, that is what it's all about, baby draw. Now, I know all of us may have tried that before, but we're gonna be talking about moving the center of gravity. Okay, let's get into the next customization, which is really gonna help you control this club face even more. Think about it this way. We've added some loft, we've made the shaft shorter. These things are all about you controlling this shaft controlling this club head. And what makes up, well, with a driver 80 to 85% of where this ball goes and the curve it has is where this club face points. So this is vital. So I know a lot of you have been down that route of shortening that shaft and you've seen the benefits, but potentially you're still getting that face to point ridiculously out to the right. And you know what that does? It gets us slicing the golf ball. So what I want to show you now is how we can move the center of gravity of this golf club. So let's just get a little bit techy. So most modern drivers have adjustability, right? I can move this one and a half to two degrees up and down. I can also move my center of gravity front to back. So for example, putting my heavier weight further towards the back lowers my center of gravity in the golf club making it easier to get some spin that travels straighter, but also may forgive a little bit of distance. Now, in the past, I stupidly have experimented with this and moved my heavier weight closer to the head. So moving my center of gravity closer in this direction. That reduces spin and helps me hit it a little bit further, but I do forgive a little bit of forgiveness. Okay, now on my driver, I don't have these options, okay? 
you may have the options on your driver to move your perimeter weighting towards the toe or towards the heel. Now don't worry, if you don't have the options, I've got some alternatives for you, but if you do have the options, you may want to also do this. In fact, there's no may about it. You're going to want to do this. So essentially, let's explain what happens. When you move the weight towards the toe of the golf club, it slows down this toe and it stops the club face closing because you're moving the center of gravity from in the middle more out towards this perimeter, slowing down this part of the golf club. So if you're someone who snap hooks it, that's why it says sort of fade on the bottom on this outer perimeter. Now, moving on to you slicers. This is the reason why we're here on this video is if we had the option to move our weight towards the heel of this golf club, we then, okay, slow down this heel, but then speed up this toe. So we're more likely to get this club face to be closer to square or even close, which for most of us isn't a bad thing because we're moving that center of gravity from the center of the club face towards the heel. Now you eagle-eyed viewers will notice that I already have one piece of lead tape on here. Now be very careful, don't go adding too much, but let's add one more so we're really moving that center of gravity from, let's say, where this cobra is to more lower, further back, more forgiveness, but also towards this heel to help me get that toe closing down. Help me square that face. So you have to think right now, by adding and experimenting with this, by moving that center of gravity towards the heel, allowing my toe to speed up, giving me more chance of squaring this club face. Now, if you had a driver that you majority of the time found the fairway and never sliced it again, how many shots would that actually save you in a round? Don't answer that. I already know the answer. And the answer is a lot. How fab is that? <laughs> you have to give this a go. I honestly think I have found the fairway finding monster. Make it shorter, add some loft and experiment by moving your center of gravity towards the heel of this golf club if you are a slicer. Okay, just do the opposite if you are someone who hooks the golf ball. First off, if you do have a golf club which has perimeter weighting, experiment with that first and then move into adding some lead tape. So you customize your driver in three simple steps to make it more forgiving and a little bit of a beauty fairway finder. Thanks for watching.